Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Walking on Sunshine as recorded by Katrina and the Waves on guitar. Now this is a fun, upbeat song to add to your repertoire. We're going to use just three chords to play the whole thing. Now keep in mind the song is in the key of B flat, so we're going to be using bar chords, but you could always take those bar chords and just play them as power chords as well for an easier version. I'm going to show you how to play the entire song, and even at the end I'll show you some fancier sort of jazz voicings that you can sneak in there as well. But before we jump in, I've got something for you. If you're new here and haven't downloaded my fretboard guide, I want to give it to you completely for free. And what this is going to do is show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out the entire fretboard. And it's a super useful just one-page PDF that you can print out and keep on your music stand or on your desktop as you're connecting more about the guitar neck and improving your playing. And actually the chords that we're going to cover today are all on this page as well. So grab your copy again completely for free at johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well hope you enjoy that and with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Walking on Sunshine as recorded by Katrina and the Waves on guitar. Now we're going to start off with the main progression, and this is actually the majority of the song, and it's going to contain the three chords we need. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. So we're going to use these three chords here, and let's start off with those. We're going to be in the key of B flat. So the first chord is actually going to be a B flat chord. This is a bar chord here at the sixth fret. I'm going to play six on the low E, then eight, eight, seven. You can start with that, and then you can add six and six on the second and first strings there. And I'm doing that by just flattening down my index finger, doing a little bar there. So that's going to be your B flat chord, all six strings. Then we're going to shift over to an E flat chord. And for this chord, I just play the middle strings. So I'm muting off the low E and the high E, and I'm starting on the fifth string at the 6th fret. I'm going to play 6, 8, 8, 8. And you can take your ring finger, your third finger, and just flatten that down and get a little bar there. Some people use their pinky. You could try that if that's more comfortable for you. Or you could use actually both fingers, middle and pinky, like this. Any of those options will work. So that's our E flat chord. So, so far we've got B flat and then E flat, just right underneath. Then what we're going to do for the final chord, F, is we're going to take this chord, E flat, and shift it up the neck two frets. That's going to be the chord F. So it's the same shape, but it's just relocated now with the root here on the 8th fret. So you should be on 8, then 10, 10, 10. So all together, B flat, E flat, and F. Now in the context of the song, we're going to play, starting in that order actually, we're going to go B flat, then to E flat, then up to F, and then back down to E flat. So those are the three chords we need, and that's the order for the main progression. So like, and then it restarts. Now one just side note here, if bar chords like this are too difficult right now, you could always just play either the first two notes or the first three notes from the low string down of those chords. So that would be like... Or you could add the pinky in there for what's called a three note power chord. 
So either way is cool. Power chords actually sound great for rock, like. Or the fuller chord. Either one will work, and I would say long term, you wanna actually be able to do both. So let's dive into the strumming next. Let's break it down. We're just gonna go beat by beat here. We're gonna start off with the first two beats. We're gonna go. Okay, so that's gonna be two eighth notes on the B flat. We're gonna go down, down, one and, and then we'll strum it again on beat two. So one and two. Now in my mind, I'm thinking this 16th note kind of groove. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So we're gonna go one and two E. And then on the and of two, we're gonna do a scratch strum, which means we just mute the strings like this. Then we're gonna come in on an up strum on that E flat, so. Then when we play that E flat, we're gonna release the pressure and do a little rest, so. That's down, 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 scratch down, up on the E flat. Then we'll go. Okay, this is beats three and four. We're gonna rest on beat three, but then come right in on, on the second 16th note, three E and a. Uh. Okay, so that's three E, we're playing on the E, and then we're resting on the and of three, and then we're playing on the uh of three. Three E and uh. That's two ups there. Rest, up, rest, up. Now notice when I play those rests, my hand is still going back and forth. We wanna keep this back and forth motion going with your strumming hand. Then on beat four, we'll go four E and uh. And that's gonna be down, up on the E flat chord, then down, up, muted. Okay, so coming from the E flat on beat three, three E and a, four E and a, up, up, down, up, down, up, muted. So all together. See that? That's it. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then the muting in between and the rests are really important as well. So that's the first bar and that's the rhythm pattern. Then what you do is you copy paste that same rhythm, but now we're gonna go F down to E flat like this. Then restart. So that's the main progression with the rhythm. Then we'll keep that same strumming, that same groove going when we move to the chorus. Now the chorus is where the vocals sing, we're walking on sunshine. That goes like this. the main progression. So that's where they sing, and don't it feel good, and then you go back to the main progression there. So for the chorus, we're just alternating between two chords, no new chords. We're just gonna go up to that F, and then move down to that E flat. Now we're gonna play each chord for one bar. Okay, so we're gonna do that full strumming pattern on just the F, then we'll move to the E flat, full strumming pattern. Then again. Then all of that goes again, so it's actually an eight bar chorus with just alternating. F for a bar, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat. Then from the E flat, you go back to the main progression. 
All right, so as promised, I want to show you some alternate voicings. And you can play this during the chorus. This is a little bit more advanced, but it sounds a little closer to the recording as far as like combining what the keyboard's doing with the guitar. We're going to play what are called six chords. So instead of just the bar chord, we're going to go, I'm walking on sunshine, and we'll play this for the chorus. What this is, is it looks like an A minor chord, but all the way up here in sixth position. So my index is on the sixth fret. Then I've got seven, seven, and then eight. You can grab that note with your pinky. We're only gonna play the middle strings, so I'm muting low E and high E. And that's your sixth chord with the root here. So we'll use that for the F, and then that for the E flat during the chorus, and that sounds like this. And back. So remember that you can always take those fuller bar chords and play them as power chords as well, and that's gonna sound great in a rock style. It'll work for this song if the full bar is too hard for you. But take your time with it and just rewind the video. Make sure you've got, first just mark out the changes and then add the rhythm. And then when you're ready, go and play it along with the song. And to help you connect more of this and just understand the fretboard more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. Again, this is a completely free resource that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And the chords that we covered today are also on this page as well. So just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. And before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me cover here on the channel. Just comment it down below. As always, thanks for your support and we'll see you in another video real soon.